Good afternoon and welcome to the 28storms.com tropical weather update for this Monday, September 12th. We are still closely monitoring Tropical Storm Maria located just to the north of Puerto Rico and that is really the only system of interest this afternoon in the Atlantic Basin. From the latest advisory from the Hurricane Center, maximum sustained winds are down to 50 miles per hour. It's drifting off toward the west at 2 miles per hour but we should begin to see more of a turn toward the north within the next day or so and Bermuda is still within that margin of error however the track is still off to the west ever so slightly. The model consensus continues to be in agreement with the official forecast track that the overall center of the storm will continue to remain west of the island until eventually passing to the north as it begins to recurve out to sea. Turning to this afternoon's visible satellite imagery it is really easy to figure out why the maximum sustained winds have actually decreased with Tropical Storm Maria. If you look really closely, the surface circulation is actually almost fully exposed here to the northwest of Puerto Rico and due north of the Dominican Republic. And we can see on the infrared that much of the convection is displaced over here, well to the northeast of San Juan actually. And this does not bode well for the storm's overall structure and organization. We can also see on the water vapor that the upper level low to the north of the storm is still persisting despite what the models had shown several days ago. And once and if that low does finally begin to dissipate altogether, we now have the trough coming across over Florida and the Carolinas. That is the same trough that's going to steer this away from the United States, but along with it, we also have a lot of southwest wind shear, and eventually this shear is going to translate further east over our storm. So overall, the chances of Maria ever becoming a hurricane have decreased quite significantly over the last 24 to 48 hours. So interest in Bermuda should still be preparing for a couple days of gusty winds and some isolated heavy rainfall but overall this does not appear to be a very significant event for you and if we turn to the rest of the Atlantic into the central and eastern Atlantic we see that the tropical wave train really isn't all that impressive right now much of the Atlantic Basin is encountering some subsidence so we don't expect any additional tropical cyclone formation over the next five days Starting off with the 12Z GFS model, we see that it takes Tropical Storm Maria just to the west of Bermuda, but not overly strong, and much of the remainder of the basin remains relatively quiet, except for around day 6 or day 7, we see that there is a tropical wave trying to get its act together near 40 and 50 degrees west longitude, well out into the central Atlantic, and as we go later into September, it's usually more difficult for any systems that form in the deep tropics over here near Africa to make it all the way across, but that's not to say it can't happen. And we also have a second area of positive vorticity located to the southwest of Jamaica. That could be something to keep an eye on, but the GFS is not really significantly intensifying it just yet. And the CMC is quite similar. It actually takes Tropical Storm Maria well to the west of Bermuda, but that's probably overdone just a little bit. And as far as the rest of the tropics are concerned, it still has some vorticity maxes along with some potential tropical waves out here in the central and eastern Atlantic along with the southwest Caribbean but everything is being suppressed well to the south with no signs of actual tropical cyclone development. If we loop the animation one more time you may also notice that toward day 5 and day 6 we begin to see some type of low pressure form near the Carolina coast. That could be an area of low pressure that forms near a stalled frontal boundary but until the other models begin to show something similar I wouldn't be overly concerned about that just yet either. And finally, if we switch over to the 12Z ECMWF model, by 24 hours, our storm to the north of Puerto Rico is beginning to make that turn by day 2 and day 3. Notice that the storm is now forecast to be just to the northwest of Bermuda. So again, we can't rule out some gusty winds along with some occasionally heavy rainfall. But overall, this should not be a high impact storm for Bermuda. And once again, we can still see that long wave trough over much of the mid-Atlantic states. And that is the main reason why the storm is expected to be guided northeast and eventually out to sea. By day four and day five, we really don't see much else in the Atlantic Basin by this point. And then finally, by day six, we do have a broad area of low pressure off the east coast like the CMC. And even to some extent, the GFS we're indicating, but nothing overly intense. And if we go into the deep tropics, we really don't see much of interest. If anything, we have broad low pressure across much of the Caribbean, but that's really nothing too out of the ordinary for this time of the year either. So we're looking pretty good out there in the tropics this afternoon. Please check by again tomorrow for another extensive video.